Hello guys, I hope you are all fine. Today we are here to discuss about cost curve. We are discussing about in incremental fuel cost curve and incremental production cost. So let's get to the topic. This is the diagram for incremental fuel cost curve. Here in the x-axis we take PGI, whereas in the y-axis we take IFC incremental fuel cost. Here if you observe this diagram, this line represents the linear approximation, whereas this dotted line represents actual incremental cost. In any generation, operating cost includes three costs. They are fuel cost, maintenance cost and labor cost. Here fuel cost is assumed to be variable, whereas the maintenance cost and labor cost are constant. Here in the thermal plant, in the thermal plant, fuel cost is given by Ci equals to alpha i plus beta i pi plus gamma i pi square. Let it be equation one. Here, if you differentiate the equation one with respect to pi, then we will get like this: d by d pi into Ci, which is equals to beta i plus two into gamma i into pi. Here, we can write that to lambda equals to d Ci by d pi. Which is equals to beta i plus 2 into gamma i into pi. This is all about incremental fuel cost. Whereas let's let's now talk about the incremental production cost. Here the sum of the incremental fuel cost and other incremental running expenses is called incremental production cost. This is the diagram for incremental production cost. Here in the x-axis we take power output, whereas in the y-axis we take input. This is the minimum. Minimum power. This is the maximum power. At this point, there will be maximum power. This is all about the incremental fuel cost curve and incremental production cost. I hope you understand, guys. Thank you.